Welcome to Meaningful Magical Math. Today I'd like to demonstrate how to use benchmark fractions of one half and one whole to compare fractions. So I have a number line with one half and one whole noted and I want to remind you that a benchmark is something that serves as a point of reference. So we're going to use the points of reference of one half and one whole as benchmark fractions or points of reference to compare other fractions to. So let's start with one half. What other names do we know for one half? Well, I know that two fourths is one half because if I multiply one half times two over two, I have two fourths. I know that 3 6 is a half. I know that 4 8 is a half. I know that 5 10 is a half. And I could keep going and going, naming other halves. What I know about these fractions is that all of these numerators are half of their denominators. And I also know that any fraction with a numerator that is less than half of the denominator would be less than a half. And we'll just note that anything below one half is less than one half, of course. All right, let's think about the benchmark fraction of one. I know that another name for one is two halves. Three halves, three pieces out of three is, is one whole. Four pieces out of four or four fourths is a whole. Five fifths is a whole, etc., etc. And what I know about that is that in each one of these names for one, my numerator, my numerators are equal to the denominators. That's what makes them a whole. A whole. And so that also means that any fraction with a numerator that is larger than the denominator, greater than the denominator, would be more than one whole. And we'll just say that anything greater than a whole is, of course, more than a whole, more than one. Any fraction that has a numerator that is greater than the denominator is more than a whole. Well, what fraction would go here? Well, this is between one half and one whole, obviously, on my number line. Any fraction that is not a half and it's not a whole is between one half and one whole. That's obvious. So how do we use this now to compare fractions to these benchmarks, these points of reference? Well, let's start with an example of two eighths. Where would two eighths be? in comparison to one half or to one whole. Well, when I think about two eighths, I look at my numerator two, that is definitely less than half of my denominator. So two eighths would be somewhere in this area, less than one half. And so that tells me that two eighths is less than one half. That's pretty simple. Let's try another example. What about, 
What about 5, 6? Let me think about my numerator and my denominator. I see 5 pieces out of 6. And when I think about a whole, 6 pieces out of 6, 6, 6 is a whole. So 5, 6 is definitely not a whole, but it's very close. And when I think about the benchmark of 1 half, the point of reference of 1 half, 3, 6 is a half. And 5, 6 is definitely larger than that. So 5, 6 would be somewhere here between 1 half and 1 whole. In other words, 5, 6 is greater than 1 half. And I could also say 5, 6 is less than 1 whole. All right, let's try this knowledge with two fractions. What about 3 fourths and 2 fifths? Let's compare these two fractions using just benchmark fractions. The benchmark fractions of 1 half or 1 whole. These are our points of reference. Let me see. 3 fourths. When I think about 3 fourths, 3 fourths is definitely larger than 1 half because 1 half is also known as two-fourths. Half of four is two, and I have three pieces out of four. So three-fourths is somewhere here between one-half and one-whole. What about two-fifths? Well, when I think about two-fifths, two-fifths is definitely below one-half. It's less than one-half because half of my denominator, five, would be two-and-a-half. And I have just two. So two fifths is less than one half. So that means if three fourths is greater than one half and two fifths is less than one half, three fourths is greater than two fifths. All right, let's try another example. Erase our last example and try one more. What about four fourths? and 7 eighths. All right, let's think about 4 fourths. Wow, 4 fourths I know is a one is the same as one whole. It's right here. 4 fourths would be right there, exactly a whole. And 7 eighths is nearly a whole. Remember, a whole is the same numerator as the denominator, 8 eighths. But 7 eighths is not quite a whole. 7 eighths would be somewhere here in this area, between 1 half and 1 whole, probably even a closer to 1 here on my number line. And so, because 4 fourths is exactly 1 and 7 eighths is less than 1, it's between a half and a whole, I know 4 fourths is greater than 7 eighths. I hope this has helped you understand how to compare using, compare fractions using benchmark fractions of 1 half and one whole.